Hey, what's up? Robert here with another Photoshop tutorial from robertsproductions.net. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to tan someone in Photoshop. So since you just bought Photoshop, you can no longer afford any tanning salons, but yet you're sitting next to your photos where you're so white that the sun is reflecting off of you. So what you need to do is load those photos into Photoshop and give yourself a nice tan. So the first thing we need to do is duplicate our background layer so that we don't mess up the original file and we can accomplish this by clicking and dragging this down to the new layer icon or you can accomplish this by hitting Control or Command J on your keyboard. Then we need to come over here and select the paintbrush tool. Now our paintbrush settings, I just want to make sure that the hardness is set to 80%. This can differ for what you're working on. And the master diameter is also going to differ uh, uh, depending on which parts we are working on. So we're going to be editing our uh, master diameter as we select different parts of this girl's face. So what we need to do is we need to hit Q on our keyboard to go into edit in quick mask mode. So if I hit Q, it's going to start editing in quick mask mode. Now one thing you can do to confirm that you're editing in quick mask mode is you can see that this little button right here is kind of pushed in as well as over here this background of this layer it gets grayed out. So uh, if you see I'm not editing in quick mask mode it's blue but when I am it turns gray. So now I also need to make sure that my foreground color is set to black and uh, because black is it's kind of like a mask. Black is going to select everything and white's going to erase uh, our mistakes. So now we can zoom in here and we can start selecting. Now before we give her a tan, we're gonna give her a sunburn. Now the default settings for the quick mask mode is usually this nice red color with a 50% opacity. This can be changed by double clicking on this quick mask mode button and you can change your color as well as your opacity and what the color indicates, whether it's masked areas or selected areas. Now we can just continue on and select everything on her face that we'd like to make tan. Now, like I said, if you make a mistake, you can swap these colors here and swap it to white as your foreground by hitting X on your keyboard and then you can erase your mistakes. Hit X again, and just fine tune this selection, and just keep on going. Okay, there's a dog at the door. And then you can hit the space bar and just drag on down to where you need to go. I don't think we need to tan her lips, so we can just go around her lips here. You can increase and decrease your brush sizes by using the left and right bracket keys on your keyboard. Okay, so now she's looking nice and crisp, like she's been sitting out in the sun for a long time. And so now that you've got all of the skin selected that you want to make tan, you can simply hit Q and that's going to create our selection. Now it's going to be selecting all the outside as well, so we want to inverse the selection and we can do that by going to select, inverse, or hit Control shift i and now we can start tanning up the face. So we want to go to Image Adjustments Curves and then click around here in the middle and just drag this down, okay? Now you can you can uh, drag it down as much as you want. I mean, we don't want to change race, but we can just make a nice, decent looking tan. So that looks pretty good and I'm gonna click OK. And then I'm gonna deselect my selection by going to Select, Deselect. And now there you have it, a nice tan in Photoshop. So here's before and here's after. And even if you'd like, you can change the blending mode of your tanned 
person by going to uh, luminosity and that'll change it kind of make it less orangey and uh, to make it look better so there you have it canny in Photoshop I hope this helped thank you for watching and until next time take care